My name is Mark Kohler, CPA attorney and senior tax advisor here at TaxLayer. Let's talk about the topic of married filing separate versus jointly. Now, this is a big topic because we want to find out which way is the better way to go on our tax return to get the maximum tax savings. Now, let me say initially, of course, the TaxSlayer software is amazing to help you make this determination because you can actually run the numbers both directions. You want to check the boxes and, and see which option plays out. So, and, and this could be a really good idea. Let's go through some of the criteria that might uh, encourage you to take this extra time and step to see which situation is best for you. Now, what we've noticed over the years in thousands of tax returns is that married filing joint is generally better than married filing separately. But the reason why jointly generally works better is because you get the uh, dependent care expense or credit and maybe the adoption expense, um, some unique expenses that could help you out. Um, you get the double of the standard deduction, which is great. And the tax return is kind of built more for a married filing joint. A lot of the phase outs are higher. And um, if both of you are not earning income at equivalent levels, then those higher phase outs pay off. That's a good thing. So that's why the married filing joint has generally been better in the long run. However, in turn, there's those circumstances and, and limited ones, I suppose, where the separate filing actually pays off. Uh, for example, when both spouses are earning approximately the same amount of money and sometimes good amount of money, you know, that you're gonna wanna put in those figures and see maybe the phase outs are actually working against you. The medical expense is one of them. And so you can sometimes get a more bang for your buck as an itemized deduction when you're married filing separately. In summary, run the number. There's nothing wrong with it. And I think this is an important consideration that you should think about, especially when you have a spouse with all the income for the family or a situation where both the husband and wife are making about the same amount. That's when things can get unique and tricky when it comes to these phase outs and unique deductions. So run it through the software. You're gonna be able to determine quickly which method is best for you. And let's get in there and save some taxes.